hello this is miss Mally, and today is thursday june 20th and out here at my garden i just got over two days of being sick and so i wasn't out here tending to my garden for like two days and so now i'm seeing what i have out here and i got some cucumber that needs to be picked that might need to be picked. That one's still growing. Plenty of blooms on my cucumbers. So this year with gardening, I'm trying not to overdo it like I normally do. And so I only have three cucumber plants here. This is a straight eight. And these two are, um, double yield cucumbers now the issue I think I was having last year I had several cucumber plants planted along this cattle panel and I think the problem I was having with bitter tasting cucumbers may have been I'm not sure cross-pollination so um, this straight eight I planted from seed it was two of them I planted one there and one one over here and this one came up so since nothing was going over here and at the time I didn't think anything was going to happen over here I planted these two double yields over here lo and behold um, the straight eight came up so I'm hoping I don't have um, bitter cucumbers if that was the cause of me having bitter cucumbers is false pollination I don't know so over here I have four tomato plants and they're all beef steak. Well, three of them are beef steaks. One is a golden, what does that say? Golden Jubilee. So this is beef steak, beef steak is a little small beef steak right there. And that's the golden Jubilee. It's got a little tomato on it, but the um, two, these steaks over here are doing really well, but um, the tomatoes, I only planted four over here, and I'm finding that by doing that, I'm able to better manage the tomatoes. So I'm going through and I'm plucking off suckers where I don't want the tomato plant to spread. So like here, um, now in the beginning, I didn't catch this right here, so it branched off and I'm letting it branch off so I'm letting that grow on up and so there's a sucker there so I'm going to continue to keep letting that grow on up and the same here and it branched off right there and I'm going to let those but I, I am going through and watching for suckers like right there so I'm going to just go ahead and take that off right there because I don't want it to come out right there and see I just spot it I don't want that. So I am finding that if I don't overdo it with planting tomatoes, that it's easier to manage the tomatoes so that they can grow and I can pay attention to trying to grow more tomatoes. That's my theory. Sometimes I believe in gardening. You just have to do stuff and to figure it out, see how things go for you. And then you can find out what works for you. All right, so I have the harlequin beetle has shown back up again. So when I see them, I take my my jug and of uh, soapy poison and try to dump them into the jug to get rid of them when I see them. So let me stop this recording right here so I can tackle this matter. That was two of them. I didn't see that second one when I was showed y'all the first one. That's actually my third one this morning. So hopefully as I see them, I can knock on I'm actually gonna cut this uh, this was a this was a 
collard green. I'm actually going to cut this out because they ain't doing nothing but feeding the cabbage mall. The um, harlequin beetle. Um, let's see. When this thing shows up, you know it shows up because you will see that type of marking on your um, leafy green. But I've read where it will attack other types of plants, but that's the type of markings I've seen it on the leafy greens. I have not seen it on the other um, types of plants that I grow in my garden, but I've seen it on just my leafy greens. So if you see that type of markings, know that you may have an issue with harlequin, 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 harlequin beetle in your, your garden. So I'm going to cut this blaster out and get it off the property so there's no need to stand here causing problems. Yep, yeah, look at that. See? I don't know if you can see that. All of those those worms and whatnot so it's no need to keep this on the in the garden so that I can um, you know be a nursery to the pest so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out I have another brassica um, looks like it's a collard green that um, I thought I had cut it down I thought I went through and cut all my um, leafy greens out but I don't I'm not I don't pull my stuff out the ground as long as it ain't diseased up um, but I guess I didn't cut it down low enough and it came back so I think what's gonna happen I mean it's healthy looking it doesn't look like it's been attacked um, but I think what's gonna happen is now that that other one is gone the pest that may be lingering around are going to find that and go after it but not only that but I mean we're having 90 degree weather all it's going to do is end up bolting and I'm not going to eat off of it so I'm going to cut this out too but the plant is actually doing really well hate to do it to it but I'm not going to eat it and so it's just I mean it's it was a really healthy plant, but it, this actually has um, what looks like little egg pot, eggs on it, little yellow egg mass or something on it. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these cucumbers out, or it might be just the one. Let's see. Oh yeah, just the one. This one ain't ready yet. So this will be my second cucumber. Double yield cucumber. Well, the first double yields, but my second cucumber. So not bad.
Okay, it is hot out here. So, tied down my tomatoes. And in the process of tying down my tomatoes, I just happened to glance over in my peppers and saw what I thought might be the early stages of a stink bug or stink bug babies. Um, that was my immediate guess. So I took a little video to show you. They were all over one particular pepper. So I thought, oh no, I can't let that go on. The stink bugs are in my garden. They are in my garden. Um, there's no squash over there of any sort, but they're in my garden. Um, so I got a pail of water, put some dish soap in it, and went over there, had my husband to cut the pepper out for me, and we dropped the pepper in the water, and hopefully got all the babies. Ugh. And look like we got an adult. Uh, we got yeah an adult um, stink bug too. So let me show so you. So here are the peppers that we picked, and one of them was actually starting to turn colors. Um, I don't know. This might have been the one that had the stink bugs on them. But there they go. There they go. All of them. Well, hopefully all of them. Well, let the garden battle begin. All right, so take a look at my garden. We're supposed to be getting a vicious storm come through. I don't know how much of the storm we're going to get, but the weather people seem to be very alarmed by the upgrade that we got. Severe thunderstorm, so they seem very alarmed. So. Take a look at my garden and hopefully it will look like that after the storm. There's my sweet potato watermelon battle. And my flower bed has been looking so beautiful. I love to look over here at it. So take a look at it and we'll see how it looks after the storm. I just love the colors of the gladiolas, the zinnias. I have poppies too. Check them out. California poppies. Everything up here is so beautiful. It just motivate me to do a little more for next year. But this is such a pretty sight to look out the window and see this, especially in the morning time. So this has been June 20th, Thursday, June 20th. And the action hasn't even gotten started yet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, unless I have to come back and fill you in on some more.